HTML file of the header, we see that it actually puts the header information here and it closes it. And then we have navigation in a separate area underneath, uh, in an area called navbar. Uh, two ways we can solve this. One is to go through and edit the navbar area, or two would actually be putting the navbar inside the header tag. So I'm actually going to try that. Um, let's just cut that. I haven't really done this before. But if I was to do that, paste it at the bottom of my file and hit refresh, let's see what happens. I may destroy the site. Yep, I've destroyed it. So how about I not do that? And we do this a different way. Uh, I will admit it's great doing a little experiment like this, not being familiar with all the changes that have been happening in 1.9. These new print containers are actually new with 1.9. They weren't here in 1.8. Uh, so let's have a quick look here. Let's have a look at the navigation. The navigation is what's called navbar. So uh, let's check our CSS for navbar. Um, let's check out the layout first. Well, here we have navbar. So now it's there, so let's try it out. Let's see if I change the navbar to also have a background color of white. Let's see what happens. Absolutely nothing. All right, let's have a quick look here. So we've got navbar, right, navbar clear fix. All else fails. Let's have a quick look here. If I have a look at the style information in this area, nothing again. That's getting really annoying. That is. Right, look, I'm going to come back to that. We can do muck around this as you muck around the CSS as you move further and further on. So uh, I'm not going to get too hooked up on it. Um, we have the word Moodle demo site. Let me get rid of some information again. Up the top here, we know that we don't want the terms there. I want to have a logo instead. So let me actually just move on to my next step, which is showing you how you can link to images inside a theme. There is nothing stopping you in the HTML of linking to the theme direct to the image directly, or just putting a, a relative link. What I want you to do is we're actually going to use a piece of PHP that will automatically generate a link to the current theme. You don't have to memorize it, you'll actually see it. It's actually right here. Uh, here's a, a link to our fav icon, that's the uh, what generates what we see up here. This is the uh, Moodle icon, it's called a fav icon in browsers. Um, and you can see that the tag is actually pointing to this first, which is generate a URL of a, directly to the current theme location slash fav icon. I really like this way of working. So, if I'm going to actually put in my logo, let's have a look down here, if home, which is where we are. Um, currently it's doing a H1 tag showing the heading. I don't want that in my case, so I'm actually just going to delete that completely and go image source equals. I'm going to paste that tag slash logo.gif. And again, doing things out loud, not a good idea, that's a mistake. I've already told you to store them in a pics folder, so I'm going to go slash pics.logo.gif. If I hit save, if I've done my job correctly, hit refresh, you can see that the logo is now embedded. And if I actually go through and look at the page source now, so I've got that tag in there, we should hopefully see, there it is, it's actually generated that whole thing for us. It's not a relative link, it's actually is a properly uh, fully formed URL that's been generated by Moodle. So again, we can see straight away that all of a sudden this is starting to look a little bit more like theirs. Well, let's have a look at the next bit. We know we have a grey bar. Now that grey bar is really uh, instrumental to how their, uh, how their site looks. So let's have a look at how we can go through and create uh, that grey background. Now, um, to see that in action, Let's actually go into a course. All of a sudden, I've lost the logo. For those of you going, why has the logo disappeared? Remember I talked to you that we actually have two areas. We've got if home, do this. If different page, if any, basically any other page but home, do this. Uh, this is really useful if you've got really large logos to have a large logo on a home page and a smaller one on the other pages. Um, I want to have the same logo there, so I'm just going to copy that. And uh, again, I don't, well, let's just put it on top for the moment and hit save. What we'll now get is a logo 
the course full name and the site description. Now, I'm going to assume at this point that I'm not going to have this name showing here. Um, I've got a short name showing here. There isn't much space for it. I'm going to ditch it when I'm thinking about my theme design. You choosing to keep this or not, obviously, is going to be up to you and your needs. So I'm just going to come back into my HTML. I'm just going to delete the heading. Again, the heading generates the heading at the top of the page. Save. There we have it. So we now have my logo, the logged in as, and this. I want to make this whole area grey to try and match up with the style that they have here. There's grey and there's actually a dark, darker grey line underneath. So hopefully it's all work for once. We go view style information. I hover over this area. And I can see here this is an area called Navbar. And you can see the Navbar currently has a, a border top of this DDD. There's no background colours, etc. So let's go through and actually edit these settings. What I want to do is I'm going to make it so that we have a grey background. What grey do we need to use? I'm going to cheat, go straight back to my Photoshop. If I go through and uh, sample the colour, there's the colour that they're using. Go into my CSS, back to my colour style sheet. Here's the nav bar. Uh, this is what happens if I change the colour to that and refresh the page. We'll see here that's now gone to that nice grey. Well, wait a second, they've also got a, um, a darker grey underneath and a bit of white. So let's go through again, back to my Photoshop, let's sample that darker grey. There it is. Yeah. Uh, again, just to test it out, I'm going to do it here first. Border, bottom. We have the, uh, the E. And again, just because I like doing it separately, I'm going to go into my uh, layout. Uh, now, first of all, before I actually add to here, notice that currently there is a line up the top. And that's because the current style is set to uh, solid. So I'm just going to go, first of all, border style none. So there's no border on that at all. And then separate to that, border bottom solid. And let's say five pixels. Now I hit refresh. The light at the top goes, and now we have that dark line underneath. Now you notice we've also got a red here. The reason for this is because there's currently a margin on top of the layout table, and that's there by default. I'm going to remove that. To do that, I'm just going to go down to my uh, layout table. Uh, again, this is in my layout. CSS. Uh, I'm just going to find where it is, layout table. And see there, margin top is 8. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to make that back to a 0. And if I refresh that page, we now see that the two join. Um, I'm going to make one more change, which is I think it would be nice to have a bit of a gap. If we have a look at theirs, there's a bit of a, a gap between the, the grey and then coming to the content here. Uh, with ours, it's pretty much direct. So let's go through and change that um, by, whoops, I think I have all the programs, but the CSS edit that I want. Uh, and again, let's just go back to our navbar area. Scroll back down to headings. As you can see, there's no shortage of CSS uh, inside a Moodle install. Um, let's just have a look for navbar. And let's do a padding bottom of five pixels. Let's see if that will open it up for us. No, that's not what I'm after. You have to excuse the fact I always get my margins and my paddings confused. Ah, and it brings us back our white. So how about, for now, I'll just accept and live with what we have, and I'll come back as we come up to tidying up later on. We well, again, what we now have is something that's really starting to emulate what we're seeing here. We've got the, the grey bars, we've got the footer there, we've got the logo. Um, last thing I'm going to change is you see that all there is like a dark grey text. Um, let's see if we can go through and make our breadcrumbs that dark grey text as well. Um, we're going to have a look, view style information, click on it. I can see that we have a breadcrumb element here. Uh, so what I'm going to do now is go back into my CSS, colour, there's our breadcrumb. 